infrastructure. The immediate cause of the disaster was the failure of certain support columns. The intense horizontal movement of the earthquake caused the columns to shear outward, leaving the upper roadway no place to go but straight down. The top part of the roadway had relatively small columns and there were deficiencies right where the columns from the upper level uh, sat on or essentially met the roadway at the top of the first level. The column failure demonstrated an especially cruel quirk of earthquake behavior. Most structures are designed to resist vertical loads. When you have the earthquake, you're applying lateral loads. And so for good earthquake design, you must not only design the structure to take its weight, but you must design the structure to take these lateral loads that would tend to push it over. <laughs>